after watching the news uh, locally, uh, I started praying about all the people who were suffering in Houston from a uh, hurricane. And, uh, you know, I kind of got to thinking, you know, there's a lot of people down there and having worked in the construction industry for years and years, I knew that there were going to be a lot of people who were going to fall between the cracks that weren't going to get any help from anyone. And I just thought to myself, you know, I, I need to go down there. I had been watching uh, many news articles on television, many um, programs on the disasters that have recently hit across our country especially. and. It finally hit me that I was unsatisfied sitting in my home, in my comfort of my uh, comfortable chair and, and warm house. Um, and when I heard about the trip being formed here at the church, I knew that God was calling me to serve on this trip. You know, with the team getting put together, we're just, it was such a huge blessing and just see how God just kind of put this whole thing together because, you know, last minute, very last minute, Brian's, this was Sunday morning before Brian was leaving Monday morning. So the day before that, um, one of the guys that was going couldn't go. So they put it out in a Saturday service. Hey, is anybody able to go drive with Brian to Texas? And uh, Robert Jr. Williams um, popped up and said, I'll go. And what a huge asset he was to the team. What a huge asset. I mean, it was just, and, and this team really, Went, to weather, went together well, we worked together well. And uh, so, you know, this was all God's thing. You know, he knew the team that he wanted to be, wanted to go and wanted to put there. And um, we worked well together and um, it was just really neat to see how God has, had worked through the whole process. Um, I chose to go on this mission trip because it was something that I could do, something that I enjoyed doing. Um, and I would highly encourage people, even if you can't do some of the work that's involved, there, there's all of the little stuff that needs to get done. It's, it's phenomenal experience, and I hope to take my kids with me on the next trip that I go. But we was able to completely sheetrock the, the whole house. We was able to uh, get everything taped and mudded and retextured. Um, we had bought new doors and left them there for the family to put on. They still need to be painted. Um, we bought new shelving for all the closet doors and those were all painted. They just need to be put in. Um, the toilets, they, you know, we bought them brand new toilets to put in the house. So, you know, they're, they're on their way, but they still needed even light fixtures to be put in because all that stuff was taken out. Um, so there was still just a huge amount of work that still needs to be done in the house. You know, people coming from far away to rebuild their home so that they can get back in their home, uh, it, it, it touches people. It lets them know that they're not alone and in some way lets them know that the Lord is there for them. Uh, and it was important for me to convey that. I've been to Sierra Leone Chile. Um, I've been to Mexico through YWAM a couple of, I've been there like three or four times um, but this was my first homeland mission and I I would highly encourage anybody that's never done a homeland mission do it at least once it it is pretty good experience pretty fun experience and I think it's powerful to to give back to people um, if not with your money, then with your time or your talent. So I would definitely do it again. I would encourage anybody who has even a thought that they might like to do something like that to join us on future trips that we're hoping to uh, put together. And then we'd like churches to partner with us not only uh, financially, but uh, to talk to their people about uh, stepping out of their comfort zone. 
I can guarantee you it will change your perspective on life 